Hi guys and thanks for tuning in. Today we've got another review, this time of the infused mouse mat, which is made by Tessero and it's based on the Aegis mouse pad but it's actually got the infused logos and the infused design on it and it looks really cool. You can see in the top screen but here it is here. It's got the infused text and the infused uh, actual logo imprinted on it as well. And I've been using this probably now for a couple of weeks uh, on and off, and I've been comparing it to my QCK Heavy, which has been my mouse pad now for a number of years, which is also a cloth pad. Now, going over some of the features of this mouse pad. First of all, the actual mouse pad itself has got a textured weave design. Now, it's really hard to show on camera, but essentially the actual weave is really, really minuscule, and the entire design is weaved into it. Now, what that does is it gives the uh, smooth surface that you can actually see. You can almost see it glistening. I mean, it is really, really smooth. But it also makes sure that any optical mouse that you're going to use on it is going to work. And I've tried it with a couple of mice. I've tried it with um, a really cheap couple of pound mice. I've tried it with a Steel Series Rival um, and also a Death Adder. And it's worked fine with all of them, as you would expect. You wouldn't expect any problems. What it's also got is around the side, and this is something that the uh, earlier versions didn't have, is a stitching. Now, the main purpose of this stitching, as I've found over the years, is to make sure that your mouse mat doesn't, like, fray at the ends. If you're using a mouse pad for a long period of time, you know, a couple of years, and the edges, it can tend to fray as you're rubbing across it and sort of uh, some of the material starts to come undone, and that can cause problems with the mouse pad. Uh, with this, obviously, you've got the stitching there. That's going to keep that in place. And uh, that's obviously something that you want. And it's something that's been missing off a couple of mouse pads. But you tend to find that it's better if it has them. On the back, as you would expect, is a non-slip surface. So you put this on any surface. I mean, I've got quite a slippery desk here. But you put it on and it ain't going anywhere. Now, as I said, I've been using this with my rival now for a couple of weeks, and I do like it. It's a very smooth surface, very smooth surface, but it does have a little bit of resistance to it. And I was going from a QC key heavy, so I didn't notice much of a difference uh, compared to if I was going from a hard pad, but the difference was still noticeable. What you will need to prepare, though, is if you're coming from a hard pad, it's going to be quite different. But overall, I was very impressed with it. And you've got to take into consideration as well that it's not a particularly expensive mouse pad either. You're looking at around $25 uh, for this particular version. This is an X3. They go in X1, X2, X3, and X4, with X4 being the largest of the mouse pads. So this one, for instance, is uh, 300 millimeters down and 360 millimeters across and it's got a depth of four millimeters as well. So it's it's plenty thick enough to have it on your desk and it's gonna give your wrist some support as well. So you're not gonna feel like it's paper thin. So overall, I think this is a particularly good mouse mat. And I've been using it and I'll carry on using it for a while because I've used a lot of mice, uh, mouse mats over the years and a lot of expensive mouse mats over the years. And honestly, and this is an honest opinion, for $25, I couldn't tell the difference between this and one of the more expensive ones that I've used. And to have the Infused logo on it as well is particularly cool, especially considering uh, I'm part of Infused. Uh, it's a really nice touch, and it's it, it's really good to see. So hopefully you've enjoyed this review, guys. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about picking up a mouse mat, there you go. Uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this review, and the uh, Tessero uh, links will be in the descriptions to so check them out. And as always, I'll catch you next time.